Martina Navratilova is a tennis icon who won a record 59 Grand Slam titles. She came out more than 30 years ago in a very different time. Mike Lupica is a columnist for the New York Daily News as well as an author and radio talk show host. Good morning to both of you. And Martina, let me start with you. We've been long asking the question, when would a man playing a major professional U.S. sport come out and say, I'm gay? We now know the answer to that. So the next question is, what's the impact? Well, uh, I think the impact is immediate because we're talking about it. Uh, it's, it's an everyday word now. We don't have to hide. And for Jason, I think it's going to make a big difference in his life. Of course, it already has. But most of all, he will sleep better at night. We don't want being gay to be an issue. It is an issue because we don't have equal rights. I think Jason coming out this way is going to push that forward a little bit. And most of all, he's going to save lives. There's no doubt in my mind that there's some kid in there that's not going to commit suicide because Jason is out. Do you, do you out. expect, Martina, other professional athletes in the four major sports to now follow suit? Is that important? I'm sure that some will come out. Uh, you know what, they will play better ball because it takes so much energy to be hiding who you are. I mean, Jason hid it from his twin brother. That's how far in the closet he was. So you really cannot be who you are unless you are out there, uh, unless you come out and you really embrace yourself. Because, as he said, if a, a straight guy is marching for my rights, I have to be able to do that as you well. Know, the time when, when you came out, 1981, it was very different. Uh, you say you didn't get a call from Ronald Reagan. Madison Avenue shunned you. And Mike Lupica was just telling me, relating stories about being at Wimbledon with you, where you were getting a hard time from the fans. So this is a very different time, isn't it? It's fantastic. The support that Jason's getting and that any gay athlete is getting. Uh, we, again, like I said, it's, uh, we don't want it to be a big deal, but it is because we don't have equal rights. But the media has, has come uh, at 180, done at 180. Fans have done at 180. And now you're getting support when you come out. So it's, it, you know, the, the monkey's off your back. It's like uh, nobody wants to go back in the closet once right. they came out. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and I, I'm sure there will be other athletes who come out. But, uh, but uh, with each one, it will be a less of a big deal, less of a big deal. And that's what we're all about. We just don't want it to be a big right. deal, but it still is. Mike, uh, give me two headlines this morning. What's the headline on the sports pages this morning? What's the headline on the front page about this story? Okay, the, the headline on the sports page is it's a good thing. It'll be interesting to see when it's like the second best quarterback in the National Football League, when it's some huge star. And it's also going to be interesting to see if Jason Collins, who does not have a job for next season, is inhibited from getting a job because of this announcement. In the greater context, I hope that the League of Old Men and Women on the Supreme Court are paying attention to this because same-sex marriage and the constitutionality is now going to be heard probably in, in, in June. And I hope they're looking at the reaction to this in the country because it's really, really important. This is a human rights issue. It's not a civil rights issue. Charles Barkley, never shy with his opinion, was asked about this a while ago, and he basically said, look, you know, players in professional sports have been playing alongside gay players for an awfully long time. He wonders if it won't be the fans that give these players who've come out a harder time than their teammates will give them, and will that cause other players not to come out? Yeah, I'm not sure that this is going to be some great big door swinging open wide now, that there's, you know, that there'll be six players coming out next week. You, you know what I was thinking about yesterday when this happened? I, I, and I've thought this for a long time. Women have been doing this in sports for a long time, and, and women have been more accepting about this, and it just kind of verifies that, that women are a, a lot smarter and cooler about this stuff, and I'm hoping that that transfers now to guys. And it gets a smile out of Martina. Martina, thank you so much. <laughs> Michael, thank nice you very you much. Uh, it's good to see you both. Thanks so much.